in a row of my annual Frugal February. But after the disaster of last year, we've actually renamed it. Frugal February's had a facelift and it is now Fruitful Frugal February. It's all about clearing the space to plant nutritious, sustainable savings that are going to benefit us for the long run. Now, I'm doing a, I guess you could say, Fruitful Frugal February has gone international and I've been spending a lot of time in Hong Kong recently and I'm really inspired by the traditions of Chinese New Year. In particular, the deep cleanse that is done around about the 7th of February before Chinese New Year. And this is all about decluttering, dusting, like going deep, like pulling the sofa out and cleaning the skirting boards so that you feel fresh and inspired and create the space for abundance and prosperity to flow into you. So I thought it'd be really fun to do a financial deep cleanse as part of Fruitful Frugal February and of course to welcome the new Chinese year. So here are the steps to do this if you want to do it with me. Alright, so number one is to clean up your internet banking. Go through your internet banking and delete any old biller codes and payees. People that just don't need to be listed in your internet banking anymore. You will find that when you delete these, your internet banking looks less chaotic and it's so much easier and more efficient to actually pay people and pay your bills. So step number two is to declutter your physical wallet and your digital wallet. Quite often our wallets can get weighed down with like old receipts, loyalty cards that we don't use, debit cards that we don't use and just like stuff. So go through your wallet and declutter anything that you don't use. This also includes your digital wallet. Things like old e-tickets that have been used, boarding passes, loyalty cards and again debit cards and credit cards that actually you're no longer in use. Now already I've decluttered so much and I'm someone who actually streamlines their wallet and doesn't really use a wallet already. I've gotten rid of an ATM debit card that I don't use and my Qantas frequent flyer point is saved to my e-wallet anyway so I don't actually need this. Already feeling lighter. So as part of fruitful frugal February we've just discovered a new park in our local neighborhood. Financially friendly family fun. Don't judge me for the state of my car. All right, girls, let's go. Whoa. Ready? Oh, oh my gosh, your lips are blue. Blue lolly equals blue lips and tongue. <laughs> of course, it goes without saying, make sure you destroy any cards responsibly because the last thing you want is someone discovering those cards that you don't use and risking identity theft. Cut them up and destroy them properly. All right, so step number three for this deep financial <laughs> cleanse as for Chinese New Year is to get rid of any duplicates in your budget or your subscription services. So how many subscription pay TV packages do you really need? Which ones do you actually use? Make sure you get rid of any duplicates or unnecessary expenses in your budget. Cut them out or at least cut them down. Ready? Let's go. Woo! Oh, we're stuck. It's not cut. My bum is holding us back. Hi guys. Whoa. Remember, this is a deep cleanse so that we create the space to allow more richness, abundance and prosperity in our lives. So we can use these newfound savings and put them towards perhaps getting rid of more debt in our life at a faster rate, saving more interest. What's to make it even more funny? I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. Hold on. I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. <laughs> Whoa, I think we need to stop. How do kids not get dizzy Whoa, from this? Step number four for our deep clean for Chinese New Year. Go through your home finding all the unused, unloved, unwanted items in your home that you can 
declutter but sell on the circular economy and make some quick cash that we can put towards getting rid of any toxic debt in our lives. Task number five, decluttering your pantry and your fridge and freezer and prioritizing eating up everything that you've got before you head to the supermarket. So not only are you creating space and getting organized and decluttering, you're also saving some money in the short term. And case in point why this is so good, I was actually going to go to the supermarket today to get some food for dinner. I've got two perfectly good pieces of meat right here and I don't need to go to the supermarket at all because we're eating up everything that we've got before we buy anything new. Task number six, going paperless. Number seven, reorganizing, decluttering, and making sure that you've got the appropriate Tupperware to help you with your food prep and to also pack safely snacks on the go. So let me show you what I've got. So I have Smiggle here, which my kids love. Anything I put into Smiggle, they're happy with. Then I've got these amazing snack to go things which come with a spoon, great for when you've got yogurt and you've got granola up here that you don't want to get like soggy during the day. And that actually is really good because it doesn't come apart and go get really messy in your hair bag. Then this is also great for saving money. And I love that the lid is attached because these are when you, you make your own icy poles, like getting an icy pole or an ice cream these days can be like sometimes up to $6, isn't that crazy? But these come in all sorts of different colors and they're silicon, so reusable, great way of saving money. This is also another really cool idea to help save you money. And it is where you can like freeze small portions of food. So when Tiger was a baby, I used this to keep her, her baby food so it wasn't having to waste money on pouches. I am now using this all over again, things like pesto that I make at home, because I can just pop it in the freezer and then just pull them out individual portions for when I need them. Uh, feeling so much more organized. And now in doing this, I can see that I'm actually missing a whole pile of lids and then missing bottom. So I can now work out what I need to get rid of and what I need to go and replace. I, just, I feel so much more inspired to like, pack snacks and do more food prep. I've never known and I've still got this one over here to do. And then step number eight for our deep financial clean, welcoming the Chinese New Year, is to do a desire statement where you consolidate all of your financial goals for 2024. So one of the best things I learned from doing the Gabby Bernstein 21 day challenge a couple of years ago was about having a statement that represents all of your values and really centralizes all of your goals and dreams into just a couple of sentences, literally like one paragraph that you can memorize and recite off heart. So that when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what you stand for and what you're chasing. And when I did this, it just gave a whole new dimension to my life. And I felt like I just had so much more purpose. I really understood who I am and what I'm standing for. And I just felt so much more passionate. So I recommend writing down your financial goals and looking at a way to rephrase them so that they're in a desire statement for yourself. Now, if you get stuck with this, I recommend registering for my free masterclass, which is called the Sugar Mama Money Mindset Manifestation Masterclass. And this is where I show you the program to be able to do this for yourself, as well as obviously supercharge your financial success for 2024. But I have just done this and I have to say, I can't, I, I, like, I can't explain after doing this how much better I feel and how much more organized I feel and how much calmer I feel from doing this. So bring on the Chinese New Year, the year of the dragon. Full disclosure, my decluttering of the pantry includes eating all the chocolates and biscuits that are left over.